Good morning lovely people and welcome to another day of car boot treasure hunting. Still very fresh this morning but the forecast is great so I'm really looking forward to today. Gonna try something new as well. I've got a really really long selfie stick and I'm gonna stick that on the trolley. It might work, it might not work, only the rest of this video will tell. Already a little bit more prepared today, I've got the cash. Sticking to the same budget as last weekend, which is £200. Aiming to spend all that on some good quality stock. So quick stop for coffee and let's get over there. Time for a second bite of the cherry of the year for the bottom boot sale. And it's good news, they're filling up the third car park already. Oh yeah, let's get into it. How much you got in your jackets, pal? Um, 45, buddy. They're um, straight from the warehouse. An honest chap, and I'll tell you what should be wrong with them. See the, 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 the size level? Yeah. It may be wrong. All right. <laughs> so okay. I always say, try it on. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's why I get them. Oh, fair enough. Good, 45 quid. Google the label. They walk around, just Google hey. real leather. 100, 150 odd quid jacket. Morning. How much have you got in your trainers? Uh, 15. And depending on what size are they? What's them? Size 10. Trainers, size 10. How much is your snow globe, mate? That one. Yeah. Can you have a look? Cheers. Yeah, we'll do a five on them. Yeah, no dramas, mate. Back in. Cheers, buddy. Have a good day. Nice jacket, that one. It's like a wax jacket. Yeah, yeah. Fit on you then. <laughs> <laughs> I've got feelings, you know. <laughs> How much you got in your jacket? Have you got any game, Christine? Five. Oh, it works, you just want to put it back. I won't pay for it. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's ten as well. Have you got any snows, pal? Yeah, you work, yeah? Unit clearance. Yeah, got all the parts to him there. It was three games. Would you get a 25? No, that's it. Yeah, go on, we'll take a chance on it. Not feeling me funk today. 
this time last week I'd filled that trolley one and a half times over. Right, not, <laughs> not, not today, yeah? Not yet. Uh, we'll miss that tank. Yeah. It'll fall in, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, Bob. We're good. <coughs> How much on the boot? Uh, five. Five. You three? Yeah. Three quid? Yeah, five. Four? Five. 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 Yeah. Who's on there, Bob? No, I don't. Yeah, Bob. Not bad, mate. Yeah, I've got it. Uh, for the two. This, uh, this guy, so have you seen this? ABL reselling? <laughs> we watch your videos all the time. Oh, nice, really cheers, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's famous. Is this a tenner, yeah? What on earth is that? Well, vintage lamp. It's cool, isn't it? It's really cool, that, yeah. <laughs> and this he's is good. Which is good. Yeah, he's a good man. He's, yeah. a good, he's a good man, this one. <laughs> oh, was that on your, uh, yeah. your pal, was it, when I came round? <laughs> He'll look after you, this man. <laughs> Yeah, hey, all the best to you, buddy. <laughs> Smart thinking that. Said, no, it's bloody freezing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to give it yet. No, I, I get. We put it in the car at half four this morning. So all right. <laughs> there you go. You need one. You need a plug-in one, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> all about. I'm not asked, like, if, you make, if you make money from me, I make money from all. Yeah. Of it. it is what it is, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's the love is circular. <laughs> Where are you going these one? Uh, 20 pound a pair of them. Them two are brand new and yeah. then just harder than them. You can have the lot for 50 if you want. I think you video on that for me. Oh I love that mate. Loved it. You did well in it. Yeah yeah. No feeling it today though. Know? I've, I've, I've by the time I'd got this far around this boot sale last week I'd felt trolley twice. Yeah. But yeah. I've been busy for this thing. I like to be a bit quiet to get all this stuff out. Yeah. You know, this thing. D 45. Go on, take off 45. Come on. I've been hiding it for weeks. I'm feeling nice for some reason. I'm feeling. Are you and the Nintendo guys probably saved my bacon today? Cheers, mate. Nice yeah, it gives you a shout about those yeah, jackets to come see you. But... I'm not here next week because I'm, I'm out at the weekend. Yeah. So I'm probably next the week after. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like well, like I say, send us a message, I'll come see you. All the best to you, man. Ten on your helmet. Okay, I got that lost. Sorry. It's what's your best, on it? Do twenty. Thank you. It's it's calling to me, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, go on, we'll have a, we'll have a do it too quick on that. I know what took me so bloody long to think about it for. <laughs> Cheers, man, thank you. Morning. <coughs> How much have you got on your turntable, boss? Turntable. What do you want for it? Right. It's Sony one. That one, that's Sony. That's Sony. 25 quid. 25 quid. That needle works as well. 
I've tried it, it plays all, all the lights come on. Yeah. So you, an amp, it sounds lovely. Would you get a 20 on it? I don't know. Um, Let me see how much I've got left actually. <laughs> That'd be a key decider, wouldn't it? Go on, check it for 20 quid. Oh. Top Manta. I know I am. But it does work. It, it, what it, it does, these lights here, Yeah. depending what size of record you've got on, Yeah. They have to be exposed these lights. It oh, senses okay. yeah, it's an the size of your record with that yeah, light, yeah. it picks it up there. And then it's full automatic, undo oh, that clip and press What do you want for the Beatles record? A tenner. It's pretty high tech for its age, isn't it, it really? Is. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, it's very nice late, that one. 1994. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Can't go wrong with a bit of Sony. It sounds alright, I've, I've got an old gold ring, it's not far off, you know, like... Uh, I keep buying them with the intention of having it on my side, I'd, I'd yeah, like to get into vinyl, I, I and then bloody sell them. And have you got Sony, have you got a Sony, you know, system or anything? Yeah. It plugs in the back and you it goes on the remote. as well. Oh, it's a three pin jobby. Yeah, you've got, you can get yeah. all the remote with it. So you can yeah. have it remote. Nice. You know. That's brilliant, oh, thank you gentlemen. Watch you don't drop it off. Oh no, I'd be safe that. Yeah, I'd be safe. We didn't have that nice one, we'd be keeping that. Yeah, yeah. Have a good one, guys. What have you got now? Fiver. <laughs> Used to ride scooters. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a fiver. <laughs> Still a bit fresh, even with sun out, isn't it? Oh, no, that's lovely. <laughs> Getting soft in the old age, that's what oh, it we is. We picked the right spot, haven't we? we yeah, right yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> What's that, mate? That's four, that one. Did you go to two on it? No, no. Well, meet me halfway. I'll meet you halfway, go on, I'll do three. <laughs> Come on. I was starting to think I wouldn't fill this trolley today. I'm going to have to go and empty it, come back on. Yeah, yeah. Nice and cheers. Cheers, folks. Guys, keep going. Oh, I'm going to be the last day now. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just going that way and from there, then I'm going. Oh, I know what you said, my friend. Oh, I'm going to have to go right there. Thank you, yeah, push back. How much have you got on your sheepskin? Oh, it's got to be that. No. Probably worth the ten of that. Thank you very much. Thank you. What's your name? What's your name? Hey, hey girl, what's your name? Hey. You know you're the baddest thing I've seen in a minute. I mean every bit of it. This ain't no game. Just want to know you a little bit more. So tell me what you're waiting for. Just wanna get to know you. Bomb, girl, you done blew up all of my memory. Come here, give me your number. I ain't sure I remember it. Maybe you should write it down. I'm digging your body pound. So you're new to the city. Let me show you around the town. We just got one, isn't it? I think so. Sorry. Uh, two pounds. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we'll do two pounds. Thank you, lovely. Thank you. No, no lame, and I'm just a story. Of my life, he died and rose up. That's the story of the Christ. I'm just trying to get to know you. What you're doing for the night? If you roll them, we be doing what you like. Get it? Hey, girl, what's your name? Hey, you know you the best. How much are you recording it, Paul? Uh, Tony. <laughs> Would you go 20 on it? Cody. Let me see what the budget's like. 
to run out of budget anyway. <laughs> I should have checked. <laughs> Well, that sounds like a bargain to that me, is yeah. A bargain. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. What an unusual day. It's definitely busier this week than last week. My word, it's quarter to ten and I'm still at home in bed yet. Uh, but not as many pickups. I don't know whether it was me just not feeling it today or I was too late here. It was already quite busy when I turned up, but that's my fault. Certainly lesson learned for next time. Some of the pickups that I got though are really decent margin. So let's get it all home and go through what I got. In the immortal words of Genghis Khan, oh baby baby, it's a wild world. It's hard to get by just upon a smile. And smiles were abound at Bolton today. Like I said in the car though, it's a really unusual day. Uh, I, couldn't really find my funk early on. I don't know if you guys find the same thing, but when you get to first get to a boot sale, that's, I just want to say excitement. This might just be me, of course. I might be just like a weird, freaky kind of guy. Well, actually, I know I'm a weird, freaky kind of guy, but <laughs> you know what I mean? You get excited about getting onto a boot sale. And I'll be perfectly honest with you, my first purchase of the day is quite spontaneous because of that, because I just want to get stuck into it. Not so many pickups today, but let's get into it and show you what I picked up. I'll let you know how much I paid for it and obviously let you know how much it's getting listed for. Of the £200 I took out with me today, I've got a grand total of £4.40 left. Ignore all that stuff, by the way. That's Amazon stock, which I'll be prepping shortly. Little bit smaller pile uh, than last week and one and a bit cock-ups, like silly cock-ups. Let's get into it. Okay, first start the gate. It's really lovely. It's, it's a musical snow globe, Winnie the Pooh, Disney branded. It's a Christmas one as well. It does play a Christmas tune. I won't wind it up because this video will take ages until I'm waiting for the bloody thing to run out. <laughs> Always be looking at snow globes, like regardless of what they are. Obviously, Disney is a, a safe bet, but snow globes are highly, highly collectible. Let's give this shit a see what we've got. Oh, look at that, very sparkly. Lovely. Some of these Disney snow globes can command absolutely bonkers uh, listing values. Quite a few examples of this exact one. Some in the box, some not. Paid £5 for this. I think it was one of the early pickups of the day. And a listing value on that is quite a conservative £35. I know some of these have been going for £40, but I think with those that we include in the postage, and I always plus postage with very rare exception. You lovelies will know that I've pretty much stopped picking up board games now, unless the brand's banking new. This one is new and sealed. Uh, Trivial Pursuit 20th Anniversary. Paid a fiver for this, and this only just lands on my bottom goalie figure for listing value. Listing value on that, £15. Sold a couple of these exact wall lights uh, recently. These are going to need a bit of a wipe down, but there's no dents in them, no nasties. The brackets are with them, which is very, very important. I think the last pickup of the day, perhaps these, I paid £3 for both, and I'm going to put a listing value of £20 on both. I think the last one that I sold went for £18 on offer. So if I have to take an offer on it, so be it but starter for 10, 20 pound each. When I mentioned the one and a bit cock-ups from today, this is the bit. Exploding Kittens, I need to stop picking it up. The last time I picked this game up, I said, I'm not doing that again because there's no, absolutely no point. I paid two pound for it. I don't know what I was thinking. I honestly don't know what I was thinking. Complete and utter brain fart. Not that it's not a great game, not that it's not complete, because it probably is. It looks complete, it's in immaculate condition. It's just, there's no, second-hand value to it, really. Uh, like I say, I paid £2 for it and a listing value of £9. So that's under my bottom goalie of a tenner. This is the cock-up. It's a whopping great cock-up in hindsight. I'm fairly confident. I'm sort of like, we're talking north of 75% confident that these are fake Doc Martins. Uh, there's a couple of things that give it away. The leather just feels wrong. The size is a little tab on there rather than on the tongue. There's nothing on the tongue. From my knowledge, there's no lace hole slits on proper Doc Martins. The sole 
just feels rubbish quality uh, and, and way too soft. Also, the sole, it's hard to tell in this light, but out in the daylight, the, the sole's way too translucent. So there's loads of things there that are pointing in the direction of these being fake. Even inside the Dr. Martin's insignia is really badly printed. What on earth? Honestly, I'm going to give myself detention and about 300 lines. In fact, I would say that's like not even 75%. That's like 100% fake. What an utter nugget. I paid £15 for them as well. If they were original, that would have been a great price. I think I probably got a bit too giddy about the £15 price tag and didn't look at the glaringly obvious. Anyway, I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm fallible. I make cock-ups. I'll just log it in the memory banks and not be such a muppet next time. Obviously, no listing value on those whatsoever. You'll have to get past the fact that they need a bit of a once over. It's just really the sole that's grubby, so that'll wash up quite nicely. The suede, albeit looking at it a little bit distressed, is in good order. I've sold a ladies pair of these. These are Adidas Basket Profi. In fact, there's a friend of mine that bought the last pair I had. I only found out it was a friend of mine that bought them after she bought them on my uh, eBay store. Can't remember how, man how much they went for. I need to check back on the video. I, I want to say I paid a fiver for these. They will scrub up quite nicely. I'm going to put a listing value of £25 on them. I think the last pair I sold were in quite a bit better condition and they went for 35 I want to say. Should be shouting at the telly now saying, actually, no, they were way too much. <laughs> <laughs> so only the second time I've picked these up. I don't know why I picked them up in the first instance. I don't know, maybe I was looking at them because it was a slow pickup day or something like that because they're unusual. Last pair I bought were in the case as well. These are Halcyon motorcycle goggles made in England. Honestly, guys, check the comps out on these. The last pair I sold went very quickly for, I want to say, £75. £70 to £75. Quite a bit more funky than these as well though and obviously they had a case with them i think they were more of a, a brushed brass rather than this sort of like painted uh, stainless steel even so this brand and this style of goggles has loads of precedence for comps paid five pound for them and they're gonna have a listing value of 45 pound i'm up in the stakes with brom reseller me and him are just picking up lamps right left and center at the minute i think i've sown the seed with him three from today first one is metal indiscript metal it might be brass not entirely sure the base almost certainly isn't that's more of a, a resin there is a little bit of a chip to the back but nothing significant it's a really really good looking lamp if you remember from videos back a good way of coming to the conclusion that it's a vintage lamp rather than one of modern manufacture is on the modern ones more often than not the bayonet will be plastic so I'm not just picking up brass lamps, assuming this isn't. I'm looking at ones that are quirky and attractive as well. This particular one, I'm going to stick a listing value of £30 on. Again, certainly a more vintage one. This one's pretty cool, actually. I noticed something before. It says the 1901 on it. Not entirely sure what that relates to. But again, really good looking lamp. The Corinthian column lamps, like Roman column lamps, sold exceptionally well, particularly in pairs. But brass lamps in general are good sellers. Listing value on that one, £25. I may or may not run the brass over it to give it a bit of a tart up. And the third, definitely a contemporary lamp urn table lamp no manufacturer on it but i think this is more brass effect than actual brass still good looking lamp listing value on that one 17 pound from a chap i buy from quite re regularly actually uh, craig who is a subscriber to the channel so hello craig if you're watching the videos three pairs of nike air max 2017s is nike id two pairs don't appear to have been worn and one pair definitely have but in all good conscience i'm gonna i'm not gonna list these as new because there is a bit of storage kind of marks to uh, the ones that haven't been worn that the soles indicate that they haven't been worn maybe tried on but in all good conscience i can't list those as new so i will list them as used i paid 45 pound for all three pairs and the two pairs that are in nearly mint condition i'm gonna put 35 pound on and the one pair that's gonna need a bit of tlc to clean them up a bit 30 pound 
item that's definitely a bolo dvd vhs combis but where the dvd is a recorder some of these models go for well north of 100 pound this is the rdr vx410 from sony paid 15 pound for this and i'm airing on the side of caution on the listing value the, the, there are some that are over 100 pound and some that are sort of like 160 to 170 pound so i'm going to put a listing value initially on it for this video of 80 pound and then just reevaluate when it comes to listing and perhaps move that up 80 pound for the video though the second sony turntable i've bought in recent weeks this is the sony ps lx 431 in spectacular condition pay 20 pound for that one and it's gonna have a listing value of 100 pound this is the other very it's a very tiny cock up to be fair it's like minuscule particularly when you compare it to those doc martins you guys know that i love picking up those sheepskin coats this one is in really great condition and a, a tenner was fantastic money as well the one thing that i did miss in my giddiness is the fact that it's missing a button so i'm not going to bother sourcing one to be honest uh, i've done this on a couple of occasions now where i've uh, had coats with missing buttons i'll just list as it is mention the fact that one of the buttons is missing in and get that out the door they're not hanging around very long at all great selling point is made in england there's no indication that this one is but it, you could just feel the quality listing value on that i'm going to put 50 pound probably the pickup of the day this uh, super nintendo starwing edition special edition this i did pay up on it at 30 pound there's two controllers with it it appears to all be complete and it's got some games with it as well and talking to my friend jack at the boot sale worst case scenario these have a reasonable spares or repairs value in fact so much so that even a worst case scenario i'll get my money back just for the console alone and then the games will sell separately on top so it was a gamble i'm prepared to take although i didn't actually speak to jack until after I bought it just give me a bit more confidence after the fact though did i say i paid 30 pound for it well i paid 30 pound for it and i'm going to put a listing value on it assuming it's working at 120 pound and last pickup of the day i wish i'd have been recording this because this is just sort of like the example of stuff that said at a boot sale uh, i need some figure eight cables for some uh, devices that i've got at the moment i've got none in my box of cables so i was on the lookout for some today and after speaking to one chap saying uh, he wanted three pound a piece for him and there's no way on god's green earth i'd find them anywhere cheaper anywhere on the boot sale on the very next stall i picked up three for three pound i needed them though and it was either that or buy them off ebay at about five ago now i've had it from the horse's mouth that there's definitely more resellers at bolton boot sale now because of the content that i'm putting out so i suppose in a way i've kind of shot myself in the foot i don't mind though because everybody's looking for different things everybody has different skill levels it's all part of the fun it's always great speaking to people though as well so if ever you guys see me at a boot sale just say hello we'll have a chat <laughs> If boot sales are your thing or you've got any kind of value whatsoever out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel. And of course, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. The notification bell will give you a notification the next time I post a video up as well. Until next time, you stunning bunch of gorgeousnesses. I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. See you in the next video. Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. It's hard to get by just upon a smile, girl. My name's Genghis Khan, and I endorse this video. Come back. Yeah. She independent, but we better when we come by. Put me in your schedule, get together with me sometimes, sunshine. I, I, I hope you in a good mood. Because I'm going to make you notice I'm a good dude. And I don't really know just how to cook food. But I could put a couple of